One of the popular beliefs is that the motor torque depends on the kV. The lower the kV, the higher torque the motor generates. If you want to increase the maximum torque, you should look for the motors with the lower kV number. And it kinda makes sense, because usually the slower rotating motor will give you the higher torque. On top of that, at the first glance, the physics seems to agree with this thesis. One of the motor constants, kT, the motor torque constant depends on the kV and is inversely proportional to it. And the kT is the constant that allows you to compute the torque generated by the motor because the torque equals kT times current. And it makes sense because with the same current, the motor with the higher kT number will give you more torque. And of course, with the same current, the higher kV motor will give less torque than the low kV motor. However, there are two problems with this way of thinking. The first one is just a minor one because the kT does not equal 1 divided by the kV. If the kV is given in the revolutions per minute, the kT is approximately 9 0.54 divided by the kV. We just have to convert RPMs to radians per second, but this is really the minor problem with this way of thinking. The major problem with this way of thinking is that, well, you are not the one that decides on the current. Warning, we will simplify things a little because we will completely ignore the inductive resistance and we will work only with the passive resistance. Let's forget for a minute that inductance even exists and let's concentrate only on the Ohm's law. And the Ohm's law says that the current equals voltage divided by the resistance. If we put that into our torque equation, we will find out that torque equals kT, the motor torque constant, multiplied by the voltage and divided by the resistance. And now, assuming for the given motor size, if we choose the motor variant with the lower kV number, we will not only increase the kT, how much torque per amp the motor can generate, but we will also increase the resistance of the winding. Why? One more time, physics. The lower kV motor requires more turns on the coils. To keep the same motor size and the stator volume, you need a thinner wire to be able to wind more turns on the coil. And that means that the wire is not only longer, it's also thinner. And thinner and longer wire has the greater resistance than the thicker and shorter one. Lower kV means higher resistance and lower current. Lower kV motor will generate more torques per amps, however, it will just pull less amps than the motor with the higher kV. Think of it like that. If the torque really depended only on the kV, we would have very small, very low kV, extremely torquey electric motors. But we don't. How to increase the motor torque? By the way, in the future there will be longer and only dedicated to this topic video. So if you would like to not miss it, well, you kinda should subscribe and hit the notify me button. The short answer to this question is that either you can choose a bigger motor with the same kV number because, well, a yeah, bigger motor will have higher torque or just stick with the motor you have and increase the voltage. If torque equals kT times voltage divided by the resistance and the kT and the resistance are constant, then, well, yeah, increasing the voltage increases the torque. And this is why the 4S motors are causing problems on the 6S, because yeah, they suddenly get much more torquey and, well, can shake the quad more easily. If you would like to know more about the electric motors, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!